Hello, hello everyone. I just wanted to show you a little project that I've been working on. It's um, 3D object recognition with Euphoria on my Android device. Um, I was working with the HoloLens and image recognition and that turned out really well so I wanted to play around with 3D object recognition. And I noticed that it wasn't too precise with HoloLens but it does really well on mobile phones and I figured hey Everyone has a mobile phone, so this will make augmented reality a little bit more accessible to people. So I was playing around with image or object recognition on my Android phone, and I've got some pretty good results from it. I just want to show you what I've been able to make so far. Um, so what I have right now is this mouse. It's a Mad Cat's mouse. So what I have set is for the uh, Android camera to recognize this mouse, and then um, some 3D objects will populate or instantiate when it recognizes that this that it's this particular mouse. So let me show you what I mean. So I just hover the camera over it and let it get into focus, of course. And when it gets into focus, as you can see, it recognizes that it's the Mad Cat's RAT9 gaming mouse. And this is just a small application that I decided to make. Uh, I sort of talked about it as like Shazam, real world objects. Um, we just have a little menu on the right that shows different retailers where you can buy this device and the price that it has. So as you can see, Amazon is $150, eBay $75, Newegg, obviously that, and it's on sale. Um, but more toward the augmented reality, as you can see, uh, it does a pretty good job of tracking it, uh, even while it's moving. Uh, of course, the camera won't recognize the object anymore when it's out of view but when you bring it back into view just look at it one more time and then everything pops back out so let me show you I got these three little buttons one for Amazon one for eBay one for Newegg so let's say I'm an average consumer and eBay is obviously the cheapest so I just click on eBay and I just have a script set so when you click on the button it will open up a link in your default browser so it pops up the eBay uh, article where you can buy this particular mouse um, but let's say oh I don't know it's an it's an eBay it's probably used maybe not um, maybe not a very good quality mouse so let's go back into our app and you just click the back button and it automatically opens again so we can look back at the mouse let it get into focus of course dun, dun, dun. come on camera Work with me, work with me. Uh, it's just a continuous autofocus script, so that might be the issue that I have going on right now. And, uh, all right, there we go. <clears throat> and it pops back up. All right, so eBay, those are kind of sketchy. They could be used. So let's go to Amazon. Just click on Amazon, Amazon and the Amazon link pops up. So, you know, it was just something I was playing around with. Um, the 3D object recognition works a lot better on the Android phone as opposed to HoloLens. I did get it working with HoloLens, but the object has to be on... Here, let me get back into the camera. Dun, dun, dun. The object has to be on this sort of reference sheet where I scanned the object initially. Um, so as you can see, it works better on this reference sheet just because it was scanned there, and it's sort of the most controlled area. But obviously, in real life, no one's going to have that reference sheet everywhere. So um, I just noticed that it works better on Android. Whereas with the HoloLens, once again, you need this reference sheet for the HoloLens to recognize a 3D object. I don't know if that's a limitation with the hardware or something on Euphoria's part. That's just something that I noticed and why I decided to continue to pursue um, 3D object recognition on in an Android device. So that's pretty much it. I, I thought it was just, you know, a fun little experiment. Um, you guys, let me know if you've had experience or more success with HoloLens and 3D object recognition. Um, if not through Euphoria, through any other software. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just a fun little experiment. <clears throat> and let's just end it with one more recognition. And there it is. Uh... And new eggs a little expensive, so I'm not going to buy this mouse there. But anyway, that's it. Um, hope you liked it.